Hi guys, I'm Theo Gurney, and this is all the cheats for Hitman 2 demo. Now, if you haven't already, check out my Hitman 2 Sons Assassin cheats, but let's get on with the demo version. Now, there are cheats for this, and we activate them in a similar way. Basically, you're going to open up this file here, the Hitman 2, Hitman 2 INI, it's sometimes called. Open up with Notepad or another text editing software, and we're just going to go to the bottom and add a line of code. In this case, it's slightly different from the full game, and you're going to type in Enable Console. And on some uh, things, it is case sensitive. And you're going to do a space and one. Make sure you do that space. Then you're going to save that. And I'll get into the game and show you how they all work. To activate God Mode, you're going to press the button to draw down the console, which is just below the escape of most keyboards. And it will look like this. And you're going to type in God space one. Alternatively, you can press the tab button, and you'll see that I'm skipping through them. And eventually, you'll see there's God there, and you can go God 1 like that. And now this means I'm immortal. So, if I show you guys, I'll get out my hardballers. Run over. And let this guy shoot me. And of course, my health isn't affected at all. And this guy can shoot me all he likes. And similarly, I can just turn it off by going God 0. And as you can see, I'm starting taking damage. For infinite ammo, you're going to bring down the console and type in infa ammo. And you'll do that, and you'll have exactly 99 bullets, like so. And once you empty your gun, it will stay exactly at 99, it will never go down from there. To access all guns, you're going to press the button again to draw down the console, and you're going to type in give all. You don't need to add a 1 or anything. Press enter. And you've got them all. You can again you can access them by pressing tab. And you see you've got all the guns. And interestingly, you've got the original names as well before they changed them. Like we've got the Heckler and Cock, uh, the Colt Python instead of Revolver. And you have all the weapons in the game. So there you go. To activate invisibility, which is one of the few cheats that you can only use in the demo versions, you're going to drop down your console and you're going to type in invisible. One again, you can use your tab button to uh, go through them until you find it. Activate that, and now none of the AI will be able to see you. And uh, you can just really explore the level without being harassed by all these dudes trying to kill them. Like you can stand right in front of them, they won't see you. They may point your guns at you, but they'll just go to where they hear the gunshot. See, so no idea, and they will never shoot. To activate time multiply, you're going to drop down your console and you're going to type in IP underscore time multiplier. Again, you can use the tab button to scroll all the way through and find it. Now, normally it's set at 1 and that would be the normal. You can set it to higher, you can set it to 10 for example, and that would be 10 times uh, faster than normal. Like this is just me walking, this is me running, so obviously I go very quickly. You can set it to really, really high, which is normally 100 is as high as you're going to go. If not, the game will crash. And as you can see, like that's me running. Like this is me walking. Everything happens really fast. And as you can see, the code's going really quickly. And you can press the up arrows and then just set that back to one. Now, if I just turn on God One, turn God One, I'll show you the slow motion how you can fire your weapons in slow motion. Now, let's start it off at let's say let's set it up at naught point. 1, 0.1, and that will be a tenth of the speed. We go first person. As you can see, it's very much like the Matrix. And you can see. your guns really slow. Oh he's got it out. Well let's try really slow now. Let's turn it to 1.01. One. I didn't hit enter. Now this is really really slow. You can see everything is in super slow motion at this point. 
even then, I mean, I'm holding it down like I should be doing automatic, but as you see, I'm still firing so slowly. All Matrix style. Debug mode. A little bit of information first. Basically, this is the only version of the game that it will work in. It won't work in the St. Petersburg Invitation, which is party mode. Um, but all the other cheats will. You can do invisibility and time multiply on that one, which is pretty fun. And of course, it won't work in the full version as they completely disabled the console. And probably the main reason for that is um, the game crashes a lot, especially when you try to load the whole map, which I will show you a bit later when you press the Y key. And um, even on a small map like this, if it crashes a lot, then it's not going to work in a much larger map, such as, you know, most of St. Petersburg's, and especially the later on missions in, like, um, you know, the Asian countries. So, I mean, it may just be my computer white crashes a lot, though, probably not. Anyway, this is how you load debug. You're going to drop down your console, and you're going to type in IP underscore debug space one. And again, you can press the tab button and scroll through right to the end and find it that way if you don't want to type it in. Then press enter and you'll see all these kind of timers uh, where your mouse is pointing stuff like that now at this point people make the mistake of wondering why none of the keys are working because you've actually got to press a second key it's not like codename 47 where it just works once you type it in you've actually got to press a key with a squiggly symbol on it's the same one that has the hashtag symbol on and it's next to the enter key once you press that you'll see at the bottom it says debug keys active now i'll turn that on and off so you can see where it's flashing and uh, you can just press all the keys if you can't find it until that appears. And once that's on, you won't be able to do any of the movement keys. You'll still be able to move your cursor, or your viewpoint I should say. But you won't be able to run, can't open my inventory, nothing like that. But once you turn it off, you can walk again. Okay, I'm going to go through all the different stuff you can do with it now. Lighting and visuals. Similar to Codename 47, there's a couple of stuff you can do to the lighting. Once you've made sure your debug key is active, you can press the zero key and this will light up the whole area, it will remove some detail as you can see, it will make everything very bright, you can see in all the dark corners and you can really see a lot more of uh, how the map looks without any shadow and any lighting, which really makes you appreciate how well it looks. I mean, if you look at the sky, that's just a couple of squares, but once it's uh, in normal mode, it looks like a good sky and you won't be able to tell the difference, so it just goes to show how the game's put together. Now, if you press the 9 key, that will turn everything into block mode, and uh, you'll see the world in block mode. Once you turn off your key, you can walk around, you can have a look at your guns, they'll all be in block mode as well, and uh, you can do all of that stuff. And now, wireframe mode. If I just go out of this, once you're in one of the two modes, let's say I'm in brightness mode, and then I press the 9, I'll go into wireframe mode. The same way, if I'm in block mode, and I press the 0 key to go into brightness, it will turn to wireframe mode. And the whole game's in wireframe mode, um, all the guns are in wireframe mode, and uh, if you load up the whole map, which I'll show you a bit later, you can do it without crashing, then you can see the whole mansion in wireframe mode, and how like the, how really the game creators put everything together, just made out of lots of these little lines. So I'll just turn that off. Finally, there's a key, I'm not quite sure about it, it's called the 8 key, and that kind of makes this red exclamation mark, and it only works when you're facing in a certain direction, if I turn too much this way it vanishes, if I turn too much this way, it will eventually vanish. And it's weird, I mean, you can let me just walk around a little bit. You can still walk, it will load for certain areas. You won't fall off the map or anything. Um, I mean, even though you can see holes there, it's strange, it really is. Yeah, it just seems to remove certain detail, like you look at the trees and the, the shrubbery, the shrubbery, I should say. Some of it vanishes in the mountains, some of the foliage vanishes. It just seems to remove detail, as it were. U change. This is another debug mode which is the same as Codename 47. If you press the tab key while your debug keys are active, you will start to switch between certain people. And you can go for all of them, as you can see. Uh, the ones that are in shadow there, um, I'll explain a bit later, but basically they're characters that are loaded off the map. Basically copies of you. One of them's um, actually escape routes. But anyway, you can swap between the people. I mean, you can just go up and down really, you can't go left and right, and you can just follow them around. Just see their activities I guess, there's a Don, and then uh, go all the way through. Now if you press the H key, 
your return to Hitman, whether he's loading the map, so uh, I'll get onto that a bit later. But if you load one of the cutscenes, which I'll show you, and then go to Hitman, you'll just be falling through space. But if you press the tab key and press shift and tab, you'll go backwards. So if I go there, and I can go back to the postman, Fame and then return to Hitman. Key. Teleportation. Similar to the full game where you have the cheat move code, if you aim in the area of your reticles, it's flat and then press control and then F9, 47 will teleport there. Um, it's slightly more livable than uh, the one in the full version of the game and it will allow you to teleport more places, but it's good to use when you're using the cheat mode, the, I'm what I'm saying, the free cam mode, because that way you can get to all kinds of crazy places. So free cam, definitely one of the best things you can do in debug mode. While having that debug keys activated, press the K, key and you will be in it. You can move around wherever you want and using the arrow keys to your right you can move around to wherever you want and go right back up into the sky. Don't go too high or unload. You can see the mansion once it get, you get close enough go through walls nothing to stop you. Go into the pool. See all the fishes and you can get really close to all kinds of things. And at any point you can press the K key again and you'll return to uh, 47. This is great for screenshots and uh, really good because you can mix it with other cheats to uh, end up getting some really good results. Just thought guys I'd show you this. With the free cam you can actually go inside people's heads and it's creepy ass. Now this is inside 47's head. Let's zoom out a little bit, ah, oh, and it's just weird, you can just see inside, you can see this code, and you can do it with anyone, you can just see the mouth and the eyes, it's, it's creepy, it's creepy, just the heads are loaded, the body is like, empty as well, you can see the head, and there you go. Lighting, now well, this one's a little harder to see, basically if you press shift F6, the lighting will be shown, now I'll show you that, you can see it best on the map, You'll see all these lines and um, I'll show it to you better in the house. Basically it's the lighting, it's very similar to Codename 47's lighting. But if I go inside the house you have to go load entire map and that's why it's kind of difficult to see because at the moment you'll see there's nothing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go below I'm going to hit Y. And as you can see this shows all the lightings that come with the light and the shadow they're going to make, it's pretty cool. Uh, it kind of... Uh, makes it really hard to understand what's happening and it does really crash the game if I try and look at it too much. My frames are actually really dropping loads. But you can see, uh, let's say for the lamp down there, you can see it's got the little where the light's going to go, where it's going to go in the room. If I try and go inside the room, hopefully it will allow me, yep. And you can just see where the shadow's going to work and it's just pretty much detail. And you, like I say, you can turn that on and off, uh, F6 on and off like that and it shows you where the lighting is in the different rooms which is uh, pretty cool so it's just like codename 47 and here's the second thing that you can do with the F keys you press F control I should say shift F6 no not F7 you load this kind of box thing below the map I, I can't really find out where else it is I mean you can see it on your map it's a square on your map uh, it's just in the center. Other than that, it's just here. I mean, I don't know what it is. I think that there is the center of the map, this little, these little black dots, but that's the only place I could find it make any difference in uh, the game. Everything else is just set, which is pretty weird, but uh, there you go. Cutscenes. Now, if you press the I or the U key, you'll load one to three cutscenes. It seems to be random. I mean, it's no order. It doesn't matter which uh, direction you're looking or anything. And those three cutscenes are the death cutscene where you fall back into blood, uh, the car cutscene where you escape, and the cutscene where you jump over the fence. And in each of those cutscenes, they're actually in different areas of the map. Um, the death cutscene is directly below, I'll show you that. The climbing over the fence is somewhere way over there. And the car scene is actually in a fake copy of the mansion across the sea. And I'll show you all of those in a minute. So uh, let's see which one we get first. Okay, we get the death, death cutscene. This happens a lot. Basically, 47 is going to fall back. I'm going to load that and go into free cam. And it's just 47 falling backwards. I'm going to go slightly lighter as well. And at any of these, you can press the key to deactivate the cutscenes. 
make 47 drop and then press the button again and you, at this point you can press the U, I, O, O, the O sometimes works and you can just uh, constantly make 47 fall back over and over again uh, just for like no reason now in most of these it's good to have gob mode on because if 47 falls far enough he will suddenly die and then you'll get the cut the death cutscene for real and I will show you where we are if I go out of brightness you'll see that we're in a white kind of dome and above us seems to be the sky and you'll see some glittery stuff now if I head towards that you'll start to notice stuff you'll be like what is that and you'll start to see the map loading up now that's the route that the guy's van takes if I go a bit closer you'll see bits of the mansion start to load up my game will probably crash in a minute and right below us you can't see him anymore but 47's down there and that's where he constantly falls if I hit the button to load oh look you can see him just down there falling back falling back dead and uh, if you keep on going up, you eventually get to the mansion. Okay, the fence jumping scene. Now, uh, this one's pretty f cool. It's one of my favourites. 47 jumps over. And then you fall. Now, I'm going to reload that. I'm going to go into free cam. Now, so you can see it a little better. We've got our crosses in the background. Uh, we've got the sunlight giving us the lighting. I'm going to have to constantly reload this, by the way, guys. And I'm going to hit the lighting button so you can see a little better. This is where 47 jumps over pretty cool he actually jumps out the floor which is pretty strange we can go right up we can go and look at the crosses they're all over here uh, basically this is what is this this is just a little bit of the map this is a bit of road I guess you'd say I'll load that one more time now you can actually make 47 teleport I can just teleport him anywhere on this because this is solid though it does vanish and uh, pretty fun I think I can make him teleport on the cross if I do it right there you go 47 is going to jump down. I'll reload this. Do it a little bit better. Looks like 47 is climbing on those crosses. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to show you where this is. In proportion to everything else. Now, we've got a bit of sky here. They did a bit of job. They did a good job in here. And that's where 47 jumps over and it vanishes. Now, at this point, you'll see this white thing. It's the same as with the death scene. If I go along, you'll see those little dots. And anathema will start loading up. Now I'm gonna go out of um, shoulder map. I'm gonna turn it off, off in a second because the game will crash if I don't. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off, and in a second, guys, we will re-enter. And here we go. Here loads up the map, and uh, yeah, basically they teleported us just somewhere over there, and that's where that cutscene takes place. So all cool stuff. Okay, so. We've gone through it. We've got the death scene below. We've got the jumping over the fence way off over there. Now I'm going to show you the fake copy of the mansion. Now this is a normal one. You know you've got people in it. You've got your rooms. You've got your uh, animals. And then you see the sea and like, okay, this is the edge of the map quite clearly. Now if I go over here and I'm going to load the full map. And I'll get back to those uh, red bits in later on. Those are actually, it's really strange. They've got, if I, I'll show you now actually, I might as well. Um, they've got the ledger. For the game they've got this for some reason when you hit full map you have that on the actual uh, map it's really weird you can see it i've got some great shots of that but normally it's hard to see because it crashes again now you'll get across the sea over from the mansion over there and you'll see this white wall and you'll be like what have i just looped the game because that's what most people think but no this is a copy of the mansion look it's hollow inside there's nobody around there's not even fish inside the water and um the whole reason for this is, um, as I will show you in a second, the cutscene for the car. The car will suddenly teleport there, 47 will uh, go down the road and smash through the gates and the game will end just there. Now you can't teleport here because none of this is solid at all, 47 will actually fall through the floor at the end of the car cutscene. But this is pretty cool because it's right at the edge of uh, the map and you can actually, because it's there's not much here, you can, get, you can zoom right out. Look at that. You can, that's the whole of Anathema. The next cutscene. Okay, we've got the car now. Now, it's important to have God Mode on for this one. Now, I'm going to show it to you normally. This is how it looks at the end of the game. And the car stops there. Now, I'm going to load it up again. And I'm going to go into free cam mode. See my a little bit. The car's going to go down there. And um, it's going to bust through those gates. Now, 
I'm going to slow this down a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to show you some cool stuff. I'm going to slow it down a little bit. I'm going to go in IP underscore time multiplier. And I'm going to slow that down to 0 0.1. And um, as you can see, obviously 47 is going to act a lot more slow. He's going to get in, and you can actually get some great uh, cut, uh, some great, uh, what I'm saying, screenshots of 47 just getting into the car. I'm actually going to speed up in a second because what most people miss is 40, the car actually flies and shoots down there, but you've got to play it really slow. And I mean like a hundredth of a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this up to one, and I'm going to turn this to naught point, naught one, and I'm going to turn it back to one so I can uh, quickly change it. Wait, so I'm just going to zoom out a little bit so I can get a better perspective because it's a little hard to get the timing right. So I'm going to change this to 1. Okay, I'm just going to slow it down right there. And in a second, you're going to see that car speed right up. 47's in there. Obviously, I mean, gravity doesn't work. But what can you do? And the car's going to go out nice and slow. And at this point, they actually have the wheels turning. And later on, I'll show you what happens to the car. And you can see what we've some shadow there. And it's just about when the car leaves the garage there. And this is running at a hundredth of a second. So it is running pretty slow. So you can just see the car's moving pretty slow. And in a second, you're like, what? The car actually flies along. 47's body kind of flashes out a little bit. It's really weird. Uh, the car then, 47 then flies off into the corner for some reason. But he'll teleport back into the car in a second. The car then drops, I'm pretty sure as it turns and drops. There you go, it drops down. And then it goes back to that normal scene where you see it busting through the gate. And uh, has 47 appeared back in there? He should in just a second. There he goes, he appears back in there. And then it goes really slow. So I'm going to speed this back up to 0.01. You can see it pushing the gates open, never actually collide. You get the sound effect. You'll see the turning. Now those, those black blocks are weird. They kind of uh, catch the car. You get a long screech from 47. The car goes back into the suspension. And the car's going to accelerate forwards. 47's looking at the camera like a badass. And like I told you, the wheels don't rotate at this point because the camera's not actually looking at it. And suddenly, think collides, 47 falls out the bottom. And you're left with this kind of, uh, this car there. And it's weird. And I'll show you. I'm going to load it one more time. I'm going to load it up. Those are the black things. These are, I'm not sure, like, if they're, like, they stop the car and they hold it. And they go through before the cutscene actually loads over here. Okay, just one other thing that I thought I might as well include. If you press the P key, you'll suddenly get like uh, these numbers and 47 will rotate in constantly if I go into normal cam. If, even if I go into uh, first person, he'll just spin for like no reason.
why it loads all the rooms. And also does this weird box stuff. And puts like arrows everywhere. And I'm pretty lucky the game hasn't crashed yet actually. But if I try and look you can see. Okay guys and I'll end it with an amazing landscape shot. And zoom in in 47. So guys please like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.